Right guys, welcome back to another video, um, another episode of the Arsenal career mode. So, we're trying a new um, recording technique here. Hopefully, it goes well. Um, I'll have to check at the end of this video how it goes. So, we will see. Um, hopefully it'll look a bit better than the way I was doing it before. So, I'm basically going to start this episode the way I finished the last one because I know not a lot of people make it the end of a video. So, basically, what we're going to do is, we're doing these fan objectives. Yeah, we're going to have fan objectives that you guys are going to give me challenges. Basically, it's going to be something like... Maybe win the Golden Glove in the Premier League, and if I fail to do that objective, then at the end of the series we'll do a forfeit. Um, I'll put a, a video or a, of the fan objective system in a minute, and I'll show you guys what that looks like, and we'll have a quick talk about that. So I'll be right back. So guys, if you made it to the end of the last video, you would know by now these are the career challenges. So. Obviously, as I expected, we got no comments in the last video. So basically, I've added into, we've got the dodgy defense, which is win the Golden Glove or get the most clean sheets in the Premier League. And I've also added in the Pride of North London objective, which is do not lose against any of the London clubs so obviously there's space for one more objective and a forfeit for each objective so three forfeits if you guys want to get down in the comments if not again then I will add some stuff in so back to the video I'll be kicking off with some gameplay of this pre-season tournament we are on ultimate difficulty as you can see at the top there this is the team we're going in with don't really fancy Danny Ceballos at CDM at all. Um, Bellerin at right back, maybe not the best. So, here we go. The final of the preseason tournament. Based Bayer Leverkusen. We're here at Signal Iduna Park. Ultimate difficulty. How can the lads do? Thought we should have won the ball there. Kai Havertz is causing us trouble down the line here. That's not going to see it already, lads. This isn't looking good. It's a good save from Leno. It was a what a ball. Abamyang's through. And Abamyang scores our first goal of the series. Our first goal controlling the team. And it's scored by the captain, Abamyang. Probably going to keep the armband for a while to be honest, and this is why he's going to keep it. It's a good ball from Ozil. Um, obviously, I said last episode I was willing to replace him, I still am, but a Bamiang. Definitely, him and Lacazette are a duo I want to utilise up front. Wide to Tierney, I can see the back post doesn't. Bamiang, back to Lacazette, who driven into the bottom corner, and Alexandra Lacazette makes it. 2-0 to Arsenal, brilliant play from the boys, by Pepe to be fair, and now Hector Bellerin's making his way down the line, Aubameyang I can see in the middle, he went for Lacazette for some reason, stood up well there, good defending, Aubameyang's made the run, I think he's just offside, we played the pass a little late there, it's been a good first half an hour though, controlling this Arsenal side. We've definitely done some, played some good football here. So Bios has done very well. Right there, Lacazette spreading the play out to Bellerin. Bellerin, he's going to get the cross in. Aubameyang's going to be beaten in the air though. He was offside anyway. So 
we're gonna bring um, Lacazette off, put Saka out to the wing, and stick Martinelli on up top. So let's see how he does for us. Bellerin's gone flying and he's actually made a fair tackle there apparently. Aubameyang finds Ceballos, spreads it out to Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka, it's 3-0. What a strike. What a hit from that young man. 3-0. We're on ultimate difficulty here, boys. I mean... I don't know what is going on, but that was a great strike from Saka. Hopefully the Premier League and even Europa League provides a bit more of a challenge than this. I think we're quite safe. Ten minutes to go. We can make some more subs here. I want to see a bit of um, Joseph Willock, if I'm honest. Um, I think that's it. There's nothing else really on the bench that interests me a bit. Gonna look in the future, maybe getting the likes of Reese Nelson on the bench, but they're offside there. Willock comes on for us. On th in between the gap, but left it too late. That's a good ball. We're gonna send Leno out here. He has fouled his man, <laughs> and he takes the yellow card, but he just got pushed. Oh, what a ball. Ah, oh, and they have one back. No clean sheet. Um, that is going to be a tough objective to obtain in the Premier League. We're cruising in matches and it just shows we're beating teams, you know, walking through them. We still concede at the end. That's disappointing. We win the European International Cup. A good end to what was a good pre-season. Here, Emmerich Aubameyang lifts the cup. That is our first silverware of the season. Hopefully, plenty, plenty more to come. I'm looking FA Cups, Europa Leagues, even Premier League titles this season, lads. Big season ahead of us, but there's one trophy into the trophy case. So we get our tournament prize money. Brilliant. Pull a ballet out for three weeks. Not ideal, but I have seen longer injuries. So hopefully a few more transfers to go through. We have another offer from Mustafi. We're gonna go in and negotiate again this time. I think last time we asked for too much with the 20 million. They've offered 12. I wonder would 17 and a half make them walk out? I hope not. They've offered 12 again. Say this is their final offer. Let's try and get 15. They're negotiating again. Not really. I really want to stick at 15 from Mustafa. They've accepted. We get 15 million. Hopefully if it goes through for Squadron Mustafa. Means we're going to need a backup eventually. And the backup I was looking at was Ruben Diaz. They won't sell him because they don't have enough depth. Now I don't know if you guys know this. There's a way around this. Basically, I want Grimaldo as well from Benfica, so we're going to try this. Let's go in for him. And if you offer a centre-back to the team that needs one, they'll automatically take it. And then you'll be able to sign the next guy. So, we were trying to get rid of this offer... Let's offer Calm Chambers, he's worth more. Now, 42 million, I don't think so. Try 30. 
and they took that wall so in the restaurant is probably going to be crucial far better than any of our left backs five year contract no release clause brilliant and money it's on 16 at the minute that's off from about 35 See what he says, he wants 52. That big Premier League bonus, probably. He's, he's accepted that now, though, so he joins. Now, if we go back to Diaz, we can now buy him. Now, that would be a big upgrade. You'll probably get into the starting squad right now. I actually thought he was lower rated than that. He was lower rated last season. Let's just offer what he's worth first. Trying to get him as cheap as possible. Now on 41! 24. Not for 30. Jeez, this is going to be tough. Not for 32. They're gonna think about it. This isn't good because we need players in other positions too. So let's put Ronaldo into the team. I was gonna keep Glasnach, but I might sell him now, you know. Get a bit more money. Let's look at his value and see what he's like. 10 million, probably 10 million we do with. You look at left backs, we've got Grimaldo, we've got Tierney, and I know Saka can play there. Let's put him on the transfer list for now. Surely we could get 15 million or so for him. I've come back. With the Ruben Diaz offer. Oh, you're joking. I just accepted that. Guys, I'm not paying that. <laughs> no, I'm just exploring with Glassnatch, but I'm not paying 40 odd million for Diaz. No way. So, Matt Macy, he can go. Now we're going to have to wait about a week to see if we can get Diaz again. So I might go in for him one last time. At the end of this episode. Milan want Lucas Torreira. That's big money, but it's one that... I'm willing to sell, so let's negotiate it. They offered 25. If I could get like 40 million, I would be unreal. Let's offer 40. See what they say. Please don't walk out. 34. Like 37 and a half. Yes, that is such a deal. That should pay for Diaz. This guy's worth 19.5 million. They've just paid us 37.5. That is such business. That should go on Diaz. And there's message negotiations over. We got that on the 27th. So, third, we will go in for him again. Herrera has been sold though for 37.5 million, 32.5 into the budget. Brilliant. Martinelli on loan, not going anywhere. The player we are keeping. So let's send forward to the third. Ana Diaz, the final signing of the episode. Mustafi's also been sold now. 
Buying for lack of gain. Blocked. Not happening. His staff he sold. So, we have 90 million. 90 million to go in and get Ruben Diaz. Let's go. I want to get him for below like 35. I want the Terrera deal to pay for him. Let's go straight in with 32 this time. 36 and a 34. Look up. So Diaz, I thought he was going to be like important to rotation, but he's probably going to ask for crucial, and he's taking that at the minute. He probably is crucial to be fair. Let's get him on a five-year contract. He's only 22, so that's a good deal. Disregard the release calls and now wages. He's on 14 and a half. I'm looking at 30k a week for him. Oh my. I am so stupid. I want Diaz in this episode, guys. Ruben Diaz. We paid, what, 34 the last time? Let's get in and around that again. Gonna offer 32 again, because I don't want to go in with 34. Because they will try and go higher. What do you want? They've offered way more this time. 34. Oh, are you joking? They're not going to accept it this time. 34 and a half. 36.1. Right, give us 34 now. Come on, lads. 35.3 <laughs> I'm being taxed for messing it up the first time aren't I? Right, we'll pay 35.3 million Let's go in and don't mess up this deal now Right, crucial first team player, yes Thanks for the contract, 5 years, accept it Yes. No release clause. Perfect. Offer me your wages, please. There we go. 52. Take away the bonus. He'll probably add some wages on. No. He's happy. He's taken it. We've signed Ruben Diaz. And <laughs> that leaves us with around 55 minutes. So let's go to that. Got around 55, 56 million, 426 in the wage budget. So let me know who you want to see. Um, Socrates comes off the bench. Diaz comes on. Now let's see. Diaz is a far better defender than Louise. Louise only beats him in shooting, passing, and dribbling. And you don't need any of that for a defender. So Diaz is going into the team. And. Um, I'm assuming that he has taken the vacant number six. He has. That's all good. So that's it for this episode, lads. Hopefully, the new um, recording system has worked well. Hopefully, it looks good, it sounds good. I'll get a look at it here. And I'm going to try and do my best to do double uploads starting soon. 
Um, I want to try and look at bringing back maybe the Bunter series too. We'll see. So, so at this point the audio kind of messed up a little bit, boys. So I'm voiceover in this now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm getting used to this, and hopefully by the next video, the um, the voiceovers won't be happening. I won't have to fix recordings and stuff. It'll all be good, and hopefully. Um, the gameplay won't be breaking up as much, I think that happened a couple of times in the video too. So also, leave your challenges and your forfeits in the comments below, I'll get a look at them, maybe implement some of them, and I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next one, bye. Cheers.